Hello, I'm Thomas Schreiner, the Lean Farmer, and welcome to another short clip on Farming Outside the Box. I'm still on business down in Texas, but I wanted to share with you a video of an improvement that we made uh, shortly before I left, and it all stems from having some other lean maniacs come visit our farm, and we had a great time having friends that are as passionate as we are about lean visit our farm, and then they were able to look at our processes and uh, you know, point out waste that we had, and, and some of the waste we might have even known that we've had the waste. We knew it was there, but for whatever reason, we maybe had an excuse that not to act on that waste, and so they really encouraged us. And so this next video is really uh, a big thank you to them for encouraging us to make an improvement, and um, it really has changed the way we farm uh, and deal with the pigs, and a big thank you goes to them. So check out this improvement video. So this is my good friend, Philippe Marquis, who traveled to our farm, and he's from Portugal, and he's also a lean maniac. In this picture, there's Philippe, and there's also Brad Carnes and his girlfriend, Ashley, from Canada. They also came to visit the farm, and they spent the day on the farm uh, learning what we do, checking out how we do things, and talking lean with us and helping us to see waste, and it was really great to have them there. And one of the things that they really encouraged us on was we had all of our pig feed stored in our grain shed, which is kind of a mess in itself, and that was a long ways away from where we keep the pigs at. And to put that in perspective, it really takes a lot to get the pig food down there with the process that we had. And so we were actually traveling 165 miles a year to get down to the pigs, and we're not probably gonna change that because of the where the pigs are located, but we were carrying 36,000 pounds of feed a year down 50, 50 pounds at a time down to the pigs. So basically we were just using a bucket or carrying the bag on our shoulder to go see the pigs. And as you can imagine, carrying all that weight really kind of takes away the joy of going to see the pigs and feeding the pigs. It really weighs you down. It's very burdensome. And that's just like how all waste is. It really pulls on you when you're doing that. So. They, they all three encouraged us to really look at that process and look at trying to figure out how to get that feed closer to the pigs. And so we started looking at the house there that we have for the hogs, and we initially built that to farrow uh, inside there so the sows would drop piglets in there. And we realized we don't do that anymore. We farrow in the wild. So we decided to change the, the hog house, if you will, to be the place where we store our grain. And so we were able to go get a load of pig feed. Uh, we try to have a Kanban there, if you will, and, and not to have too large of a batch, and store it right in there where we used to have the pigs, and now where the feed is right beside where we feed the pigs. And so now we're not having to carry literally 36,000 pounds a year uh, in our arms down to feed the pigs, and it just makes our life so much easier. It's been a great improvement. And it really just goes to show the power of having other folks come tour your farm and the power of having friends that are lean maniacs. Uh, we owe a great deal of thanks to all of them and it was a great time and we learned a lot from each other.